I made my own intro, cause it's the best thing right now. I don't know what to do, cause copyright is an issue. I try to ask a flair, even if you don't care. Welcome to my channel, where nails, beauty, hair is all I wear. Scribe, now! Ch ch check the box, please, thank you. Oh, and welcome back my cool cats and kittens uh, You can tell by the title what we are here for today But before we get into that go ahead and hit the subscribe button hit the like button or go ahead and comment or just don't do either one <laughs> Whatever is best for you whatever floats your boat. But anyways, we are here To show you a marble nail. I was like, let me just put out something You know cuz this quarantine stuff it's stressing me out. Like, what I mean by stressing me out, it's stressing me out. Like, I'm, like, completely over it. But, anyways, let's get to the video. So, you just saw me buff the nail with my drill bit, a sanding band. And, yes, I've been using it because I've been doing nonstop press-ons all day. So, yeah. And I'm going in with my Bond-Aid uh dehydrator and i'm pretty sure you know what the what term dehydrate means but you know just to help some people out a dehydrator is used to get rid of any excess oils or moisture on top of a surface which is your nail plate so that's why i use it i even use this during prepping because sometimes i touch the nail plate just to make sure to get all that extra oil off and then i'm going in with my young nails bond aid which is the primer which helps with the adherence of acrylic to the natural nail this will help from lifting but of course if you don't prep correctly you're going to have lifting regardless of whatever product you use um with marble you want to use colors that's not the same okay with this one i chose three colors i chose a dark blue a baby blue and a white now this is the order that you need to place a dark blue baby blue white you want to start off with the darkest color first because if you put the darkest color on top, it's going to mix all together and you don't want that. So, I'm going in with the dark blue. It is 117 by Valentino. And of course, everything I'm using is going to be down below in the description box. So, if you want to buy any of this stuff or just check it out, I will have it down below. You want to keep each be bead fairly wet due to the simple fact you got to manipulate it you don't want it too wet but look look, look, look. i started to mess up because you see it started spilling i'm over here like oh, oh damn but you want it pretty wet to still manipulate because if you put it a little too dry it might dry on you and then now you got rocks on your nails so the main thing is keep your beads wet you can drain a little bit of the um, monomer out of your brush with the bead on it, but you want to keep the beads fairly wet. And of course, depending on which color you want showing the most, uh, you put more of that acrylic. So if you want more of the darker color showing, then put more of the acrylic and put less of the other colors to make it look like what it is. But I just want the dark blue to be like a little, you know, a little... I don't even know the right word for it, but you know. So, yeah, you're just going to keep doing the same thing. So when you're going on top for you to blend it, you're going to take the belly of your brush. And I will show that in a minute once I feel like I got it where I want it. So you take the tip of the brush and drag it down a little bit to get it to blend. And then use the belly. I thought I had it, but I guess I deleted it. But as you see, that's why it's blending now. And then right there is where I'm going to put a little more of the dark blue because I was like, it's too light right here. So when you do that, you take a very, very tiny bead of that color and then you just drag down and just drag down. You basically, because I, I don't want it to make it look like a straight line. Like I wanted to make it look like it was purposely put there, you know. So, and that's what it looks like so far. Uh... And then you just keep going. And of course, you want to put in some areas where you just want certain colors. So in this area, I want it to be just strictly the light blue. I didn't want to add any of the dark blue to it. And then go right back to the scheduled program. You can go back in with your dark, your light, and then your white. And just keep doing it until you're finished.
Okay, now I'm going back in with my dark blue acrylic again, doing the same thing, kind of make it like not as such a straight line. And then I'm using the tip and the belly of my brush to like dilute it a little bit more. I think it just looks better when you do it that way. So yeah, as you can see, and then I'm gonna zoom in for you. So that's what it looks like afterwards. And then I'm going in to fill in this last little bit of the section that's up top because uh, when I was filming the other parts of it, it was very, 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 very out of focus. So I apologize. Okay, so this is what it looks like zoomed in, and that's, that's why I added a little extra blue, because I thought it would look better, but yeah, um, I guess I'll show y'all a little razzle-dazzle, you can start adding extra stuff and stuff like that, because at first I was going to do it off camera, but I was like, why not? So, I'm going in with, what is this, Poppin' or Dirty Sprite, I don't remember, but I'm probably going to, I'm going to show the lid in a minute. But I'm going in with one of those to only add to the light parts of the acrylic to add a little extra flare to it. Okay, and this is what it looks like uh, with the glitter acrylic added on. And yes, it's Dirty Sprite by nail heaven supply store like i said i will add all the de details of what i use down below if you want to try any or buy it and now i'm going in with these charms i wish they were silver because this blue would have looked better with silver but i just want to play with them so i'm going in with one of the charms and i think i'm choosing the moon charm i was uh, i was looking at the one but i was like mm, the moon one's cute she's cute when i put the moon charm on top i realized that it doesn't lay flat so they're very thin so I went ahead and like bent it a little bit so it can fit the nail a lot better and these are pretty pretty thin so it was easy to bend with no hassle and now going in with my speed clear by young nails to hold the charm in place putting a very small bead and spreading it all over the moon and then of course we're going to encapsulate because when you do marble it's not really going to be that thick so now I'm going in with the speed clear to go ahead and encapsulate the entire nail because like I said, when you do marble, you're not using a lot of acrylic to really build that thickness you need for a nail. So you're going to have to encapsulate it. So that's what I'm doing now. Okay, so here's the nail once I'm done encapsulating. And of course, we're going to wait till it finished drying uh depending on your acrylic it it varies from the time but it's pretty fast so as we're waiting you take your file tap it and that's how you know if it's done or not so it's not done so while we wait let's do a trivia here is the trivia question 15 seconds already started The answer is A, ethyl methyl acrylate monomer. If you got that right, kudos to you. If you got this wrong and you're doing nails, I think you need to stop doing nails and do some more research because that is a very, very important info that you need to know. So if you don't know that, shame on you. Shame on you. Anyways, here's the final look. I already did the top coat and stuff at the end because I was like there's no point of adding all that extra hoopla in there so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did if you have not done so yet please subscribe like and comment go ahead and watch some more videos if you have to if you want more little mini videos it's not really mini but if you want more videos like this of different stuff please let me know below and stay safe wash your hands and have a good one. <laughs> Bye, guys.